we're back to this angle again. Uh, so in case this goes up before my video from yesterday, uh, I did make a video yesterday. It just won't go up because my phone is dumb. Um, technology does not like me currently. But, yeah. I went to work today, and then I did some other stuff, and then I got ice cream which was not a good experience. I went and the service was awful. Everyone was like standing around and chatting and tasting ice cream like it was a party. An ice cream social, if you will. Um, I got my ice cream, which was like a soft serve, cream ice, soft serve type deal. Those textures don't go together. Also, I got a flavor called peanut butter fudge pretzel that had one pretzel in it. This doesn't seem right to me. And to top it all off, he then gives me my receipt to like sign. He puts it on the counter, and the counter is covered in ice cream. So I just like stated that and left. Um, but hey, I got some sugar in me because I had way too much of it already. Um, but that's not actually what I want to talk about today. Today, I want to discuss leadership because I've been thinking about it all day today. I have been thinking a lot about what I want to do with my future because that's what paranoid people do. And, or everyone, I hear that everyone going into their junior year of college is like freaking out about their life. So I'm doing that. And um, I definitely know that I wanna be in the film and television industry. I'm like a billion percent sure on that. Where I fit in, I'm not really sure. Um, I've always kinda considered myself a writer type, even though I don't flex the writing muscles as often as I should. Um, and with all of uh, my experiences this far at Frederator and at My Damn Channel and at, um, uh, at the short film that I was working on, it's kind of given me different perspectives and shown me that there's a lot of stuff that I don't know about and a lot of stuff that I haven't considered. Um, not only in terms of positions, but also in terms of the lifestyle that comes with it. <coughs> Gross. Um, so yeah, I was recently told that I come across as a producer type uh, because I'm organized and I get things done. Uh, my radio show was given as an example. And I was like, oh, okay. I'm not really sure what a producer does. Uh, so that's something to look into. But as I've been thinking about that, I've thought about all the times that I've been put in an organizational position, which I'm put in a lot, um, because I, I, I guess I'm the kind of person who will eventually get things done, if required to by other people. I'm very good at playing second fiddle <laughs> in a lot of things where there's kind of like a masthead and then like I do little work, kind of like when I was... Um, second assistant director, I definitely felt like I was helping organize and move things along, but like it wasn't my movie, the director was in charge, and there was even another person above me, so it's like if I mess up, uh, no one's there. And recently I found out that I'm being put in a leadership position, sort of, and I'm kind of nervous, to because I've never been a president of a club, or I've never had my own project that I was like spearheading with a team. I either do things myself or uh, help other people. And now that I'm going to kind of be an official masthead to a project, um, I'm scared. And I'm nervous to take the fall for my mistakes. But I'm also excited. I think it's it's good. It's good for sure. But it's making me think about like professionally, like maybe I'm a professional second fiddle. And not in the bad way, but just like maybe I'm the kind of person who can help other people like achieve their dreams or something. Um, not to say that like I would never commit my dreams or something like that, but like I don't know, maybe that's like my role here, you know? Who knows? I don't. So that's what I've been thinking about. Hope you're doing well. I'm gonna go.